In this lecture, we will talk about something known as AIDS. We know that the causative agent for this particular problem or syndrome is HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. And this acquired immunodeficiency syndrome is linked with the adoptive immune system. We know that there are two different kind of immune system. One is the innate immune system and second one is the adoptive immune system. Now this adoptive immune system also goes by the name of acquired immune system. So HIV affects the acquired immune system. It hampers the acquired immune system and that's why it causes multiple problems within our body, right? So let's just briefly talk about the structure of HIV, the causative agent, and then we can move towards certain other aspects like how exactly this virus affects our WBCs and our cells, healthy cells. We will talk about the mechanism in a moment, but let's just talk about the structure first. And if we look at this particular picture, you can see the green boundary there. And within this green boundary, we have some strands, the red strands. Now this green boundary is the capsid. We know that viruses possess this unique structure by the name of capsid. Now this is capsid. As you can see, in the case of HIV virus, this capsid is icosahedral, which means it has 20 faces. If we see the 3D picture of this particular virus, the capsid would appear icosahedral. Now within this icosahedral capsid, we have this genetic material, which is in fact in the form of RNA. There are two identical copies of RNA. Now remember that these RNA are not complementary to each other. They are in fact identical to each other in every manner. So now let's come to the next layer. Now this particular capsid or the viral body is enclosed within this envelope. Now this particular thing is the lipid bilayer and this acts as an envelope. So HIV is actually an enveloped virus. And within this lipid bilayer, we have additional structures as well. These blue structures you can see they are in fact the glycoproteins. Now they are the glycoprotein structures that have major role. They have a very major role in replication of this HIV virus, right? And now we can talk about this particular thing, RIP, rest in peace. Now this RIP help us to memorize all the different kinds of enzymes that are present within the body of this particular virus. Now within the capsid, there is this first enzyme by the name of reverse transcriptase. Quite close to these RNA, we have the reverse transcriptase enzyme. So these enzymes are located within the capsid. And then comes I, I is for integrase. You can see that this particular enzyme is all also present within the capsid and then we can talk about this P. P is for protease and you can see that here we have protease which is quite close to the capsid. So these are the three enzymes that are present within the body of HIV right and then there is this additional layer as well. If we talk about the third layer earlier we talked about capsid and this lipid bilayer. Now we also have this third layer which is in fact the matrix protein layer. This yellow one here represents the matrix protein. So we have three kind of layers, the capsid, the matrix protein and the lipid bilayer. And we also have three enzymes, which are reverse transcriptase, integrase and protease. We will talk about their function in the later part of this particular lecture, but right now we are focusing on the structure. Now let's focus on this particular glycoprotein. Earlier I told you that they are embedded within this particular lipid bilayer. As you can see in this particular picture, these glycoproteins are deeply embedded within the lipid bilayer. Now as a whole, this structure is known as glycoprotein 160, GP160, but it can also be subdivided into two portions. The rod-like structure or the lower structure is in fact GP41. And on top of this particular GP, there is another GP that is represented by this oval, which is in fact GP120. Now these numbers are not random, 120 and 41. They are linked to the molecular weight of these glycoproteins, right? So that was the basic structure of HIV virus. So before moving to the next thing, let's just quickly recap the structure of HIV. We can see that the last layer, L for last, L for lipid bilayer. And then we have this thing that is present at the center or the core. So C for center, C for capsid. And then comes the middle layer, M for middle, M for 
matrix protein layer. And then we know that these blue structures are in fact the glycoproteins. So I hope you got the idea. It's pretty simple. There are three layers and three enzymes. And then we also talked about the two particular portions of glycoprotein. This GP160, which is further subdivided into GP41 and GP120. So there are three numbers to remember 160, 120, and 41. So now we can move towards the replicative cycle, how this particular HIV virus affects our cells or more specifically the white blood cells. So this is the mechanism now. Again, you are able to see this RIP here. Now we will talk about their function. 